So far, we have seen the other structures present inside the enamel, which were the hunter sugar band and the incremental lines. There are some other structures which are present inside the enamel, which are enamel lamella, the tubs, the spindles, and the nard enamel. First, we'll start with enamel lamella. So, this is the ground section, and this is the enamel lamella. This is the diagram we can see. It is a crack like structure that we can see. It is a leaf like structure which represents the hypocalcified part of the enamel. Extends from the outer surface towards the DEJ. This is the outer surface of tooth and it is extending from the outer surface and this is the DEJ. Towards DEJ it is extending. It is form formed in the planes of stress that is this is partially erupted tooth. The structure of tooth experiences some forces and in these planes of stress some part of rods remains uncalcified or hypocalcified which results in formation of enamel lamella. We can observe different contents present inside the enamel lamella based, based on whether it was developed in unerupted tooth or erupted tooth. So when the enamel lamella is developed in an unerupted tooth it might be filled with surrounding cells of enamel organs or of connective tissue. So enamel organ we know that it forms the dentin and enamel. So the cells may either degenerate or form a hornified cuticle. For example, this is the lamella and some cells enter this uh, lamella. It may form hornified cuticle. Hard tissue enamel dentin like structure inside the lamella. If the connective tissue cells invade this lamella, then it might form cementum and the lamella cavity may partially or fully be filled with cementum. If it is formed in an erupted tooth, then the cracks may be filled with organic debris from the oral cavity or the salivary deposits. This may also lead to the accumulation of microorganisms which may later form caries. Now the types of enamel lamella, so it is of three types A, B and C. A is present only in enamel, that is the lamella will extend only in the enamel and it is uh, it, it consists of poorly calcified rod segments. Type B will be, it will extend till the dentine. Here the dentine starts and may lamella may extend till here. It contains of degenerated cells. The third one is it may penetrate dentine entirely, for example, it may come up till here. This is formed after the eruption of tooth and it may fill with organic matter from the saliva. Now why do we study enamel lamella? Because it is a site of weakness in the tooth. Obviously it is hypocalcified or low mineralized then it will be weakness. And it is also the road of entry for bacteria. Just as we discussed the surface develops cracks which may lead till the dentine and the bacteria may invade and reach the tooth and form caries.